y'all hey it's me Karina Lee and we are hopping right into this so I'm on Canva you want to go to create design and then you want to go to video so I'm going to put in five slides because at the end of the video I will have five slides you'll find that I actually don't use the fifth one so for now just make it a placeholder so the next thing I'm going to do is go to my uploads and I'm going to put in my background for every single slide so I found my background on Pinterest just in case you guys were wondering where you could might get where you could potentially get some background ideas or pictures definitely Pinterest So for the first slide, I'm going to make it two seconds only because I only need this in order to create the effect that I created at the beginning, which you guys will see later. So yes, the first one is only going to be two seconds. Now we are moving on to the technically first slide that's going to have stuff on it. So I'm going to elements on the left hand side and you see those recently used. So I'm going to use that square, but I literally typed in square in order to find this so you would just go to the search engine and type in square and find you know whatever works for you now i'm going to text and i'm going to put in a k and an l i just use these fonts on the left hand side to get the text in there um, but these will not be the actual um fonts So once I have the K and the L in there, I'm basically just going to play around with both of them in order to kind of move them to where I want them to be. Another thing to note, obviously you guys can use whatever font you want. I'm using Bob. Bodani or something like that FLF that's the same as my other intro um, so I'm keeping everything consistent across the board as far as you know color scheme fonts and things of that nature and then I'm going to change the colors of these as well and then add the effect of shadow So like I was saying, I'm changing the effect to shadow and then what I'm going to do is go ahead and change the um, settings on the effects as well. So the offset I put at 28, oh we're not there yet, we're still doing this. Oh I'm changing the background shadows to the teal color that is the same color across the board as well and then I'm going to get into the actual settings. So, in just a minute. Okay, so the effect settings are 28, negative 99, 80, and then 100. And I'm going to do that for the K and for the L. So now moving on to the next page, I'm going to go in and I'm going to type my name, my channel name, and actually my real name, <laughs> which is Karina Lee. And I'm going to do both of those fonts again. So I'm going to do the Bodani FLF. And then I'm also going to type it again. And I'm going to use the font. Mm, what was the font? Amsterdam 4. That's what the second one is, Amsterdam 4. Um, so, yes. And then, obviously, I'm doing the same effects with this one that I did with the other ones on the other page. So for the second Karina Lee, the font for this one is neon, 
and the setting number is 96. Alrighty, page four. So I'm going to go to elements on the left hand side. I'm going to type in Instagram so that I can find the Instagram logo. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the TikTok logo. Obviously, you can do whatever logos you want to do for whatever social medias you want to promote. I only want to promote my Instagram and my TikTok. So those are the two that I'm going to find. And then I'm going to make sure that I put those on this page. So once I have the logos on the page, I also change the colors to match the same blue color that is, you know, consistent across my channel. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put my at names for both for both of these social medias. Okay, so let's get into how I did the phone with the picture because I'm sure that that's what a lot of y'all want to know. So I'm going to my uploads because I already have this, but if you don't, you basically need to go ahead and find a PNG of an iPhone. And then I'm going to take the picture that I want to put in the phone. And this is literally a whole bunch of maneuvering and playing around to make sure that the picture literally looks like it's inside of the phone. So... Um, you guys will like, okay, so yeah, right now I'm obviously moving it around. Let me give it a couple minutes so that I can make my next point. Okay, so after maneuvering, y'all see I hit the positions and I put forward. So that brought the phone to the front. Basically, I go back and forth between positioning the picture forward or backward and positioning the phone forward or backward in order to so that I can like move them around and basically play with this in order to try and get the picture. Um, so as y'all see, I just put the picture to the front so that I can edit the picture more and like size it differently so that I can try to fit it inside of the phone. And then I'm gonna put it back to the back so that I can try and see if it's fitting. And then I can see like at the bottom, there's a little bit of white. But basically, yeah, it's literally just playing around with it. So let me show you guys now how I did the animations. So for the K, I go to animate, and then I chose ascend next to typewriter. And that's the one that I chose for the K. For the L, I chose shift. So the K, I believe comes upward and the L comes down, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the K goes up, the L comes down, and then I'm gonna play that for you guys so that you can see how that looks, that transition. Yeah. some slight, some light. One more again for the people in the back who was looking down. Oh. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so that is how I did the K and the L. Obviously, y'all see the box is moving on its own. Um. So for the next one, I went to animate again, and for the first one, I put typewriter. And then for the second one, I'm going to put burst, and that is how I did that animation. 
and then I'm gonna run it back for y'all so that y'all can see that again typewriter and burst and that is how it looks when it is played and it does do the same thing going out as well if y'all could see that so for the icons for the um social medias they both rise and then it's typewriter again for my names i realized that my tiktok is lowercase um and i fixed that later on but yeah, so then that's what I did for that. And then I play it again. And so I just play it to make sure that I like how it looks. And the phone, uh, on my actual animation, I did do an animation. But I literally did not like the way it looked. So I added something at the very end, which you guys will see later. So as of right now, this is how the video looks. I also went ahead and changed the duration of the timing for each of these. So the first one is only two seconds and the other slides are four seconds. So the next thing I'm about to show you guys is how I got this fog. If you guys haven't seen my phone customization, definitely check that video out. But I go into the Vita app. I'm gonna go to images. I'm gonna go to my marble background and I'm going to put that in. I'm gonna extend it to 5.5 because I already know that's how long I need it to be because I already did the intro. So after you extend it to 5.5, you wanna go down to where it says sticker and then I'm going to go to, um, I'm gonna type in subscribe and I'm going to pick the first option and that's gonna, that is what I'm going to use as my subscribe button. I'm gonna blow it up so that I like how it looks on my screen or like I like how big like basically make it as big as you want it to be and position it you know in the center or wherever you want it to be but that's what I'm doing right here as I'm struggling with this app okay so for the fun part you're going to go to effects at the bottom slide all the way over to nature so I go to nature you're gonna find well I found the effect that says smog that's the one I chose to use I'm uh, showing you guys like the other options, but you can't really see it on mine because my background's so light. But yeah, like that's the underwater one, I think, or something like that. But I'm going to choose smog because that is the one that I enjoy, that I like, and that is how it looks. So I just hit play in order to see if I like the way it looks. Obviously, you can extend it or not, whatever works. So I wanted to show y'all how to ensure that the watermark is not on your video. You go to settings and where I'm clicking Vita watermark, make sure that that is turned off and then you can save your video. Now we're going to go into video. I'm going to put in the whole video that I saved from off of Canva, the very first part of it. And I'm going to go to effects at the bottom again. I'm going to go to nature again. I'm going to find smog again and I'm going to add that in. I feel like Vita just places it perfectly so I don't really need to play with how long it is because it literally comes in at the perfect time. So I'm going to hit play and this is how it looks. And that is how I added the smog effect. All of my finishing touches for this are going to be done in iMovie. So I'm going to go to iMovie, create a new movie, I'm going to drag in the video that I just saved from Vita. And then I am going to, you know, play it and make sure that it's looking right, looking tight. Oh no, I'm editing the beginning because I don't want my video to start with the black screen. I want it to start with the smog already. So I just dragged it over a little bit so that it'll start with the smog. And then I play it to make sure that I like how it's looking. My computer is literally moving so slow. But obviously y'all saw the video so it, it, it looks right. But man... Let me tell y'all about them storage issues. No, let me not. Anyways, I'm gonna add the blur effect, the cross blur effect in between one of my slides, the slide where I have uh, the phone. I add that blur because I, like I told you guys, I did not like that transition. The last thing I do is add my song intro. I'm gonna cut it so that it stops where my video stops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and 
um, basically bring in the end part of my song so that it fades out essentially. And literally, that is how I created this intro. Thank <laughs> you.